I want to start today's talk with a little story about a guy I met in the gym a few weeks ago. This is a guy I happened to be talking to about training, about working out. He was looking to get in better shape, lose weight, overall improve his health, all that kind of stuff. And all I did was simply say that, you know, I live a vegan lifestyle, the vegan diet, and that's important to me. We had a 10 second conversation about veganism. He seemed to have no interest. I didn't push the issue. We moved on. I said, maybe I'll see you around the gym. Maybe I'll, you know, he might be interested in buying a workout plan for me, something like that. And then we moved on. That was it. Now, I ran into this guy just a few days ago, and he came up to me, kind of grabbed me and said, hey, man, check it out. I'm 21 days vegan. And this was really inspiring to me for a lot of different reasons. Obviously, A, anyone that goes vegan, that's great. That's a big deal. The more people we have, the more good we can do. But on top of that, what was so great about this was I didn't try to sell this guy. I didn't try to jam anything down his throat. He wasn't interested at all. But by simply displaying that I was proud of veganism and just telling him that veganism is the right way to go, this inspired him to go do some research and look into it and realize this is the right way to go. You know, I've converted many people over the years and one thing you realize is that everyone has a different path to veganism. Some people, maybe the animals, some people, maybe the environment. Everyone's got a different reason for going vegan. And some people need different techniques. Some people you need to be really nice to. Some people you need to be kind of harsh to. Whatever it is, everyone's different. But what's so inspiring about this situation, and this is why I want to talk to you guys about this, is because even if you don't have time or the inclination to try to inspire someone or give them a hard time or talk about veganism by simply stating that you are a vegan and you know that's the right path for you and the environment and the animals that alone can change people's minds or at least spark an interest in their mind you should be proud of your choice to save animals the environment and least importantly yourself if you're only doing this for your own health please educate yourself to understand that innocent animals shouldn't suffer just because people like the end product don't shy away or be afraid of judgment. You are making the world a better place. Those who want to tear you down are simply weaker than you, not as good a person, or simply ignorant. If people do show interest, be confident and make your case. Explain all the good that veganism does. Make a difference. The environment needs your help and billions of innocent animals' lives depend on it. If we keep to ourselves, where will this movement go? If this is something that you truly believe in and understand the damage that is done and you are doing this for the animals and for the environment, don't you want other people to do so? Don't you realize how small your contribution is? It's just, you're just one person, but if you can change other people, this movement will grow. Things will get better. Think about how you found out about veganism. Was it someone online, on YouTube? Was it a friend, a shirt, a meme? Use these tools to educate people about veganism. You should wear vegan apparel, discuss veganism at social gatherings, and engage others about why veganism is so important. Someone has to stand up for these animals and change the conversation. Help me and the many others who came before me make a difference in the lives of the innocent. Don't back down. Be strong in your convictions. Remember, the science is on your side here. The facts are on your side. The ethics are on your side. And we as vegans are all on your side.